We were at the Jamboree last uh, weekend, met a bunch of really interesting people. For example, uh, who did we meet here? Michael Adamowitz, uh, David Joyce, a bunch of the, the dealers out in the um, the, the trading area that was pretty cool. And a lot of people from the from the uh, internet, you know, watch the videos and stuff. So great to meet a lot of you. Um, sold a fair number of books. Anyway, uh, today uh, we're on the 115, uh, heading north from the 401. We're going on to the 35. Our particular aim, we're going to hit up Miners Bay because apparently there's some really beautiful tremolite there. And then we're going to go down to Davis Lake. We're going to check out the molybdenum deposits. Sorry, I have a problem with the word. And as I'm driving, uh, you'll notice we have Jeff with us because there was a lot of requests at the Jamboree as to where Jeff was during the talk. He was with a, a lady friend at the time. Shame on you, Jeff. Any excuses or reasons? Nothing. Here's kind of an interesting spot just outside Miners Bay. Here's where the magic happens. This is Miner's Bay. Not much to it, but the road cutting is right around here somewhere. Dude, I relax, there's no cars around. Clear Lake Road, okay, so I think this might be it right up here. So you can see why this is monoclinic, right? So the landowners just pointed out we should be parking over here, and you make sure that you ask the landowner for permission before you actually go on there, which makes a lot of sense. Um, I guess from our end, uh, we didn't really realize it was private property, but it is. So a word to those of you who would rock hound here and also if anything comes down on the road, you got to pick it up and put it back. That's just good common sense and uh, basic to the ethic of rock hounding. So fortunately the, uh, the land f landowner said, come this way, closer towards the highway is way better what he called horn blend, which is really tremolite and just Walking up the slope, we're finding tons of crystals, actual black crystals with lovely crystal faces just laying in the sand. Here's one, I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Look at it. Crystal, right there. So this is just like at Grace Lake where they said dig underneath the tree roots for the tremolite. Great big crystals, green as grass and big as milk cartons. Or at least so, uh, I think it was uh, Peter Varga. Uh, from the Starlight Gems, that's what he told us. We didn't have luck like that, but here, this is where you're finding the tremolite, just underneath the tree roots in this sort of rusty red soil. So basically we're just heading up slope till we find the source. Kind of like looking for gold, eh? You just follow it to its source. Same with the tremolite. It's all scattered down the slope there. As the landowner said, anything that goes on the road has to come back. There's a nice lump just full of terminations and I've been you know I'm, I'm still going up the hill I'm almost at the top so I'm, there's got to be a seam or somewhere that all of this stuff is coming from and just filtering down through the soil so I'm still looking so that's a real nice one I'm just finding biggest success I've had all sorts of theories here um, there seem to be layers all along this hillside here layers where you know the rock is coming out that we want and this little layer, I'm probably about uh, that high above the road. We're talking about 40 feet up. Um, that seems to be the area I'm having the greatest success with. Just a nice little... Oh, look at that. That's a nice Very shape. nice. It's got a piece of something growing into it. Oh, nice find. Here we are, guys. I'm starting to feel bad because Jeff was finding all the good ones. Look at that. And there's more. I'm just starting this little pit here. It's right next to Jeff's pit. He's doing great. So, look at that. Okay, so we're, we're at um, Miners Bay, and uh, we've been led here with the idea of thinking that there was a road cutting with a two meter high by six meter long black gabbro in which you find tons of tremolite, and the landowner had basically directed us to this location, which is further towards the actual uh, Highway 35, I think it is, much closer along Davis, Davis Bay Road. And we found an awful lot of various black crystals, a lot of tremolite and so on. Uh, but the point of the matter is there's no rhyme or reason to where you find this stuff. It's, it's basically in the dirt and you got to dig. So bring a shovel if you want to dig here. 
Again, we must emphasize, you must speak to the landowner and you park the car down there across on the other side of the road. So, I mean, Jeff posed a good question here as to what's going on. Like, you know, why all the tremolite just sitting in the dirt? And I'm thinking to myself, it's probably weathered out from, you know, some kind of a layer and just settled there within the dirt, started working its way downward. So we're just following this old road here. We're looking for the molybdenum mines in the area as well. So we thought, well, while we're here around this area, we'll follow up on the Davis Lake molybdenum mines, of which there are several locations and we've been pointed in all sorts of strange directions. I'm not feeling too optimistic about finding it. Nice scenery. Just don't want to get stuck out here. Yeah. Just wondering if we'll ever get out of here. Another scene from Deliverance.